place in downtown Chicago is requiring all workers and contractors to get the COVID vaccine. Federal district and bankruptcy courts will start the mandate in two weeks. WGS Mike Lowe is live outside the Dirksen Federal Building with reaction to that new rule. Mike. Micah and Ray, good evening to both of you. Hundreds of people work in this 30 story high rise behind me every day. And within a couple of weeks, they'll all have to have COVID-19 vaccinations or they will be subject to routine testing and new restrictions. This, of course, is thrusting the courthouse itself into the national debate over vaccine mandates. It was just last week that authorities announced a worker on the 12th floor of the Dirksen Federal Building tested positive for COVID-19. And in an open letter, Chicago's chief federal judge warned of an uptick in cases because of the Delta variant of the virus. Even with jurors and trial participants being tested regularly, the court took the bold step today to require vaccinations by August 16th. Starting then, the vaccine requirement will apply to the U.S. District Court and the U.S. Bankruptcy Court for the Northern District of Illinois. And it encompasses all employees and all contractors. Those who don't get it must wear masks at all times, be tested twice a week, and are prohibited from work-related travel. In a written statement, Chief Judge Rebecca Paulmeyer said, quote, COVID-19 vaccinations are the very best available line of defense against this virus. Many of us work directly with the public, and all of us have a responsibility, not only to one another, but also to the members of our community who come before us. When members of the public enter the courthouse, they are entitled to be assured that the court has made every effort to keep them safe from COVID-19. I'm a student at uh, UC Berkeley, so at our school they're requiring us to have, you know, vaccines. College student Peter Orfano says he is vaccinated and supports the effort to stop the spread of the virus. But he says he isn't sure about requirements for federal also, employees. Uh, I do still, you know, hold the belief that, you know, there's people should have the option on whether or not they, you know, get the vaccine. And, you know, if someone says no, then they say no. And, you know, if you have it, it protects you. So get the vaccine. I'm a Republican. I'm not afraid to admit it. Andrew Bucci is visiting from Pennsylvania, and he says he's vaccinated. He also believes the majority of people should get their shots, but he says a federal government entity should not force it on workers who he says should have a choice. I'm a big fan of the Constitution. I do think it is against constitutional rights. But for Faith Atkey, the issue is simple. People who go into a public building, particularly a courthouse where you can be compelled to show up, have a reasonable expectation of safety. A lot goes on in these buildings every single day at all times. So I feel like being vaccinated is probably the best way to combat COVID. So what about the people who work inside of the courthouse? Well, a number of them declined to comment to us on camera tonight, but off camera, of course, uh, their reactions, as you can imagine, were mixed. Reporting live tonight outside of the Dirksen Federal Court building in the loop. Mike Lowe, WGN News. All right.